Well, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen today spooked investors with comments on inflation and interest rates diverging somewhat from the Federal Reserve Chairman's guidance last week. Listen. It may be that interest rates will have to rise somewhat to make sure that our economy doesn't overheat. With regard to interest rates, we continue to expect it will be appropriate to maintain the current zero to one quarter percent target range for the federal funds rate. David, he does continue to do that. And generally, despite blips like today, where the market uh, gets spooked a little bit, uh, they continue to hope that he can, can print his way out of the problems we have out of higher interest rates. Yeah, I'm not sure that the market is looking for him to print his way out of it because I don't think any of this has to do with uh, adding to money supply. It has to do with facilitating uh, really uh, embraced capital markets. It, it's, it's basically coddling risk assets. And so it starts off in an emergency. We saw this yeah. after the financial crisis. We have to go support our money market operations, things like that. Right. And then years later, it's still going on. And the end result, in my opinion, is not inflation. It's worse. It is very loose credit that leads to malinvestment, mm. that leads to a bad allocation of capital in society. Well, can you give and, us and some so examples? Actually, or would David, you include, don't think that, would you that include Secretary Yellen's comments were that contradictory to okay. what he said because she gave herself the wiggle room. Yeah. She didn't put a timeline on it. They, but all of them talk with such you know general and non-specific uh, timelines. It's true. It's really hard to pin. But David, I got to press you on this. Is what would you consider to be one of those risky investments? that uh, investors are going into right now because of the zero interest. Well, what I think is that over time, you with that kind of loose credit, you get a levering up in the society. You get higher leverage ratios. Corporations take on more debt. Households can take on more debt. Now, we've seen a delevering of the household sector since the financial crisis. But corporate America, non-bank lenders, middle markets have all levered up substantially. And through time, you end up with less good investments mm. and more dollars chasing less good investments. Yeah. Right. I certainly think the tech sector, though, is deeply overpriced. Well, and a lot of that has to do with monetary did today as well. I, I just want to switch to something else which concerns me even more uh, from a personal point of view. And that's that's the the comments by the president yesterday that he was going to really invigorate the IRS. Not that I'm doing anything. I don't want any audits because I'm, I'm paying my fair share, which is well over 50 percent when everything's included. But the, the idea that you give the IRS another $80 billion in order to, to sneak out the tax cheats out there, and that's going to bring in over 10 year period a trillion dollars uh, worth of, of extra money that was hiding under under rugs and, and in backyards and gold and stuff. The thing that really does scare me, David, is that small business is going to become the target of all this. We know that the big corporations have the capital to hire teams of lawyers and accountants to find ways of getting out of new tax laws. They always do. They always do. In the 250 year history of the United States, no matter what tax they come up with, the, the rich guys, the richest of the rich figure out ways to get it. It's the small businesses that can't afford those accounts that are going to be the ones to suffer, that they will be accused of doing things uh, in the wrong way and, and pay a price for it. Well, I, you're exactly right, David. And, and here's the thing. Eighty billion dollars divided by however many number of bad actors you are, however many people you think there are out there that are ripping off the government. How in the world do they think they need 80 billion to go uncover it? Well, right. they said we think there's 175 billion of taxes out there not being paid. How do they know that? If they really knew that, they would be able to collect it. Yeah. They have no idea. Yeah. And what Liz said is exactly right. Coming out of the Obama issue where they targeted conservatives, combined with the way the culture is moved, with right. the cancel culture environment right. we're in now, which was not the case 10 years ago, this weaponization is one of the worst ideas I've heard and the person who will suffer will be small business republican or democrat god it will be him. totally anti-american god help him. we got to leave it at that david and liz great to see you both thank you for coming in appreciate it